This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. Instead of an entire Landsat scene, the area of interest may be only one specific region within that scene, or only specific bands. The previous chapter provided instruction on how to generate a single composite image consisting of all 11 Landsat 8 bands. This chapter provides instructions on how to limit the aerial extent of the scene to a specific region, called subsetting an image, or in GIS terms, clipping. We begin with a composite image created in Chapter 14. Limiting the spatial extent of an image can occur in multiple ways. Let's review one of the tools we can use. Select the composite image in the table of contents and choose the Data tab from the Raster Layer tab. Click on Export Raster. Click on the down arrow next to Clipping Geometry. Current display extent is used to clip your map to a specific region you've zoomed into. As specified below is used when you know the specific coordinates of the corners of the desired region. There are many options for this tool not covered in this chapter. Scroll down to view them. And there are even more in the Settings tab. Again, use this tool to export any raster file and change the parameters of that file. For our purposes, we are only subsetting to an aerial extent, in other words, clipping the image. Now let's try it. Zoom in on the southeastern region of the image to include the city of Roanoke and the Christiansburg-Blacksburg area. In the Export Raster tool, under General, choose Current Display Extent. ArcGIS Pro automatically changes it to as specified below and inserts the coordinates to limit the extent. Leave all of the other parameters as default and then click on Export. When finished, a green success message is displayed and a new layer is present in contents. It has the same name except that it has a .tiff appended. Close the Export Raster window and turn off and on the original composite image to see the clipped image. Zoom in a bit. You can see the clipped image is smaller than the original composite. Notice that the clipped image appears to have changed colors when compared to the original image. Actually, the symbology is just the same, just the range of brightness values have changed. See your text for a discussion on this topic. Another clipping option is to clip to an existing polygon. To do this, add a polygon vector file that represents the spatial extent of the area desired. In this example, I'm adding a vector polygon of the city boundary of Roanoke, Virginia. Using the original composite image, not the clipped image, open the Export Raster tool and choose the polygon file as the clipping geometry option. And again, leave all other settings as the default. Zoom in and turn off other layers as desired to examine the newly created image. Compositing and clipping can be done all at the same time, but there are some differences. With this method, we use one additional feature of the Composite Bands tool, the Processing Extent in the Environments tab. Open the Composite Bands tool. We are just going to add bands 2 through 5 to save some processing time. Let's give it a file name. And go to the Environments tab. Choose the Roanoke City Boundary Polygon file from the Processing Extent tab. 
then choose Run. For the results, recall from the last chapter that ArcGIS Pro renumbers the bands, but we won't fix that up here. Let's turn off all the layers except the polygon for Roanoke, Virginia and the first and second clipped images. Do you see the difference as we turn the layers on and off? The processing extent setting in environments created a new composite image with straight lines. While the export raster tool creates a new image with the exact boundaries of the polygon. One approach provides a subset of a general region. The other approach provides a subset of a more specific user-defined extent, which could include a watershed boundary or a political boundary, for example. Be sure to save your project. In this chapter, we demonstrated how to limit the extent of an image. We'll use the 11-band composite image clipped to the extent of the display in the next few chapters.